Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame, and I am in Chicago, Illinois. I'm in the middle of the United States, so to speak. How are you today? Today I'm going to talk to you about what is some of this Mercury Retro bringing out of people. It's going to be a lot of stuff that needs to go for sure. It's going to be what people might consider um, purging, but... It also includes some upgrades. Now, I got to be straight up here. There's a lot of misinformation floating out around there. And you're going to get the best clarity from your own body. But not just any part of your body. Your brand new template that's trying to get in there. So, sit tight. I'm going to talk about a few things. This Mercury Retrograde is especially going to have to do with a lot of things that you might call that are up in the air. Now, what does that mean up in the air? It means the things of the mind. It also means your nerves. What gets on your nerves? So that's part of the topic here. What gets on your nerves? What is standing on your last nerve? You could, if you're a parent, you could feel like, you know, mommy had one nerve left and everybody is standing on mommy's last nerve. Everybody out. Everybody get out. And you may not know, why does it feel like this? Why? What are you doing? Or what are you doing wrong? Or what aren't you doing wrong? And in some ways, that's actually part of the problem is continuing to ask yourself, what's wrong? It should turn around and flip it into what's right with you or what is becoming right. Too many times we're focused on what's wrong and we start the day with that. We start the day with exactly like what's going to happen today? What's going to go wrong today? Let's stop that people. Let's stop asking what's going to go wrong because every single day there's stuff that happens. If you pay attention to the media, to the news, there's always someone messing up. There's some accident that happens. There's some tragedy somewhere. And you need to disfocus from those things and focus on you. Focus on you and focus on your inner connections of who you're connected to, who you're truly connected to. And you will know. You will know things. You'll know that you know that you know that you know. And that is not to say... You know that you need to tolerate really crappy behavior simply because someone out there or something on the internet says you need to tolerate it. No, you don't. You need to remove it. So this is also what gets on your nerves. It's sometimes being told again and again and again. Things like you're not getting into heaven or you're not getting into that top school or you're not getting in the job, you just don't have the right connections, the right education, the right appearance, anything. But what? how does it affect your nerves? Well, you get enough of that, enough of that, enough of that, and you start finding that it's like chopping away at something. Little by little, you get chopped, you get submerged, you repress, you diminish yourself, and how does this happen? How do you get up out of it? You are the phoenix rising. So, I need to talk to you about, there is a difference between walking away and persisting. And that's another go around. This is, I've been putting out videos for about five years, and that's a lot of videos. I have about 350 videos. I'm not a newcomer on this scene. I am not new to the community but the community itself has been going through an evolution. There's new people that pop in all the time. And sometimes when their minds can't figure it out, what do they do? They say erroneous things. They give misinformation because they have not taken the time themselves to integrate what they're here for. And I know it hands down. Okay, There are people, too, that I have helped. And they've actually blossomed with this. And yeah, I'm going to toot my own horn because I am very proud of the work that I do. I have taken people from looking at me through the camera saying, I think I want to kill myself, to finding their fire again. That is what I do, and we do it in a relatively short amount of time. 
And if that's the best thing I do is prevent one person from offing themselves, then I've done a good job. Okay, and I'm still here and I am still kicking. How do you get your fire back? Because a lot of people do find that this process is a bit discouraging, demoralizing, sucking the life out of you, sucking your energy out. And I have more to talk to you about. So in order to talk about this really in a concise way, a lot of things are about your body. Your physical body is the anchor of your subtle bodies. Some people have not been taught that. That may not be your fault if it's something you don't understand. But you don't need to understand it with your mind or through a spiritual or religious teaching. Because telling someone is vastly different than the actual experience of it. And that is what I specialize in. I specialize in helping people gain the actual experiences of really who they are and what they're here for. What are you here for? Well, to summarize it, you're here for health. You're here for healthy relationships. And I'm doing a class on that, an online webinar class. You're here for a brand new template that just doesn't tolerate the things from the past. And you think of it as a mind, we're mind thing, you know, because that's how we've been taught. We've been taught, oh, hey, uh, I just won't think about that. I'll be like Scarlett O'Hare and put that off till tomorrow. But you'll find that it crops up again. It wells up again. It pulls you back in. It's just like that line in The Godfather where Michael Corleone is saying, every time I think I'm out, pulls me back in. How do you let people and places and things and events and relationships stop sucking the life out of you? How do you get healthy? Okay. For some people, it's a process. We've got this medicine, and then we have to add this one, and then because of these two, we have to add this one. And then, on top of it all, our body starts diminishing in its function, so now we've got to test something every single time. We've got to test it, and we've got to make sure... And we've got to live with some kind of chronic thing. And I'm here to say, no, no way. I'm here to help you integrate your template so that those chronic conditions, so that these things are fleeting thing every once in a while. And that you're able to manage things with other health supplements. And let's stop bashing the medical community, okay? I take it very personally because I myself was a pre-med major. I don't claim to be a doctor, but it's a lot of hard work that people put themselves through. And their intentions are good. It is not that people do that because they have bad intentions. They're not doing that to, you know, for the most part to say, <laughs> doctors get very little training when it comes to pharmaceuticals. This wasn't known years ago. This has been an evolution evolving and some people who are spiritual avoid things simply on principle and that's not right either because there are times you actually do need something to knock it out when i had an eye infection you better believe i went and got the antibiotics because i only have two eyes and damn if i'm going to lose one of them i went and did it okay if i have an infection I'm going to go and do it, and I have it down to a science of get it in, get it out, get my body cleared. And I've written about that in my books. So why am I even talking about this? Because this has to do with what gets on your nerves and what's in your central nervous system. Your central nervous system governs the operations of your body. Now, what does that have to do with love? It has to do with love because you want this to operate like a seamless clock. You want things to be harmonious and balanced. You're balancing with each other. If you're female, you're not going into that communal hut to go have your menstrual cycle with all the other women, even though that has been a phenomenon that is hard to prove. It's a real thing. But why? I'll tell you why. Because it's been networked together within soul groups. 
you're leaving the group of souls that you yourselves have been a part of so that you can be with each other. Now, when we talk about love, and some people will say, well, I'm just here to be in love. I'm in love. God showed me love. But why is this taking so long? Okay? Because it has to do with breaking down your past, breaking up certain relationships, concluding certain agreements, making sure that you yourself are elevating. There is a difference between the old paradigm and the new level. And the new level requires your active participation. You have to put skin in the game. That means that you yourself are not doing this passively. It happens passive so that you can gain a feel for it. But then after that, you're expected to start catching on and learning it. And if you don't, if you don't know how to work your brand new life body, it's time to join. It's time to join my classes. It's time to have a session. If you cannot get it budged, because you may not be able to get it budged at certain levels, I'm here to help with that. And help I do, because people who take my sessions actually find that they leap forward. They gain those quantum leaps that really lets them jump and really lets them shift their situation. We should be talking about relationship, shouldn't we? Okay, how do you get the love that you want? How do you get the trust rebuilt? How do you get rid of bad memories, remembering being rejected, abandoned? How do you get your childhood memories gone? Childhood injuries, again, your nervous system. I've had at least four people lately who have had a broken tailbone, and it affects their mobility, it affects their urinary tract, it affects um, having cysts or fibrous tissue because those areas do not get the nerves, don't send the signals for nourishment to those areas. The same thing happens with males. doesn't just happen with females. Males have tendencies to ignore a lot of old injuries, injuries from their childhood, horsing around with their brothers or their cousins or playing a sport. And years later is when it hits. Years later, if someone has had a broken bone, guess what your central nervous system wants to do once you start integrating that template? You're going to have a reliving experience that makes you finish it. So when we're talking about closure and conclusions and finishing and being new, I'm not kidding about that. You're here to be very, very new. Your human body has a connection to the eternal part of you. And that's something that a lot of people negate if they don't like their body, especially if your body has been abused or has been the object of someone's abuse or bullying. You may want to detach from your own body. That is a deep psyche issue. And this disassociation happens with people. They don't like themselves because they've been told there's nothing to like or they've endured behaviors that lets them know there's nothing likable about them. And that's not true. That is absolutely not true. You're also not here to tolerate things. You're not here to just accept whatever crumbs from someone's table that they're, you know, sovereign enough to give you. Oh, no. You're here for real love, real fun, real romance. And that's another misconcept out there. People will tell you, this is just about submission. The only mission really is putting yourselves together. From that is where everything else flows. How you express your love in the world in terms of the work you want to do or what you feel to do, that is the real thing that can flow then, okay? If twin flames are here to infuse this place with more love and bring extra healing, you're only going to do it by walking through the steps yourself. Whether or not you teach it or become a healer, 
You help your families, you help ripple this out, yes, to humanity. That's how this works. So yes, you do. But not everyone's going to put on their cape about it. Certain people will. And those certain people, if they are here to help people, they are going to become the healed healer. If you have been this in another life, if you've been the warrior, you'll be a healed warrior. If you're a healer, you will be the healed healer because it involves some extra levels for you. And that throws people off because they say, why am I being subjected to this? I'm not seeing this out in the collective. In fact, I'm seeing people that are together. Well, better be sure of those people together because a lot of people can get along with soulmates. It's not that soulmates don't get along. It's not that twin flame couples fight each other all the time either. That's a misconcept. Twin flames are not the only people on the planet that trigger you. The entire universe can trigger us into releasing what needs to be released. So to bring this around to karmic soulmates. Karmic soulmates, what should I do? Well, who is this person in relation to you? What role are they playing to you? Are they a sibling? Are they a spouse? Are they a child? Children can be karmic soulmates. How do you close these contracts with them? How do you possibly write a new one with them? How do you do that? I can tell you this, you don't do it with a conversation that is not the best or most effective way. What about communing with your twin? What happens when that bubble phase is over and you need to communicate with your twin? You picking up the phone? Don't even bother because pretty soon those phone lines will go dead and if you don't know how to heart communicate, then you need to learn. And if you're doing a constant chatter, that, sound, that shows up as static. It's like, it's like snow on the television. It's like snow when you can't tune in the channel. It's staticky. They can't feel it. All it feels like is some ear buzzing, head buzzing. Have you ever had that? And you say, maybe someone's thinking about me. Yes, maybe they are. But are you getting a clear message about it? Okay. Marco. Polo, Marco, Polo, your hearts need to be able to communicate over vast distances, light years of distance, because your energy is very big. Your love is very big, but sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Sometimes you can feel very much human. You don't feel like the magnificent being you really are. I do get it. And karmic soulmates sometimes they have a talent to make you feel like that. They diminish you. They put you down. They tread on you. They reject you. They abandon you. What do you do with the karmics? Because karmic people will actually be able to block their hurt from you. They're not here to take stuff or go back and forth. What about at your office or your job? Are you feeling some levels of tension? Are you feeling like things are pushing you? And it's getting to be unsustainable for you. What do you do? Well, those are relationships. Those are maybe relationships you need. If you need a paycheck, you need to have healthy relationships. At the very least, you need some harmony. And the way was set in 1987 with the harmonic convergence. But it is taking years of time some decades here, while we go through some of the cycles till we could bring that sort of full circle in 2017. You're in a grace period. You're in the 10-year grace period of concluding and closing karma. And the time is almost up. So when you persist, what this means is you persist with your focus on yourself. If the outside isn't matching the inside, and that's been in an ancient scripture, you when the inner matches the outer, okay? If it's not, persist and learn and be. Learn how to be who you came here to be. Because it's not just here with your pineal gland, with your third eye, and people do that. That's not the area that you do it in. Telepathy no longer comes from here. Ooh. Okay, it's just not. 
And the reasons are people have been very manipulated using those areas. Being glared at, facial expressions, mental manipulations, seductions. It happens. It's still happening. But people are beginning to transparently see through these things. What about your health? Your health is not good. Is this the end? Okay. This is your culmination life. For the majority of people, this is your culmination life. That means that you're gathering everything in that you need. You're connecting yourself to your true love, who you need. No doubt about it. That's not codependent. That is absolutely how it's supposed to be. You have their back. They have your back. A full soul commitment. The human mind doesn't really get a vote on that. So questions like, what if this is not my life? Or what if, what if I should just give up? No, you don't give up. You have to come up a notch. And I'm raising the bar on you. I'm raising the expectations. And I do have things that are very helpful for people. Because not only does it help them physically, with their physical health, and to feel well, they feel emotionally more balanced. They sometimes feel so balanced that they feel that they are holding the masculine and feminine energy equally. And they sometimes will feel less obsessed about it. And they start having very high level experiences of love. The etheric touch, which is very important. The things that let you know what this is beyond the human level and the human level. Because you will see things and know things about your other half at the human level as you're coming closer and closer together. And those near misses that people have where they say, like, what was that? That this came and went. What was that all about? I don't get it. Those tend to cease. And you will know. Like, meaning a knowing in your heart. Okay? Just like people know. Just like you're going to know about karmic people around you. You'll know when things have come to a conclusion. Now, physically concluding things, and then that's the thing that I want to point out to people is, um, you know, even in certain books, like you have a book like The Five Love Languages, one of those things in their quality time, if you're not giving quality time and devotion to who you are and making a deeper connection and heart communicating, then you're not giving time, okay? You're trying to distract yourself. If someone is not giving you quality time, someone who genuinely likes you and wants to be with you will. They make it happen. And I've seen it time and time again. Someone who wants to just wave in and out of your life is not giving you quality time. And people need to pay attention to that. If you've gone from, you know, being lovers or having great conversations to now you get one text every six months out of the year, that is not quality time. That is not good loving. And sometimes it's not love at all. And sometimes your higher self might be helping you dodge a bullet. So it's time to get real about this, what you're really here for. You're integrating a template that helps you hold it together and hold love and not go into separation. You're actually ending the separation. So you see, even there, there's a paradox that even as people say, well, why am I separating? You're actually ending all forms of separation. So come and find out more. Come and learn and learn some tools in my relationships and health class. Your health, your health and well-being. Or have a causal body session. These are great for really shifting your energies because I am a twin flame body healer. What that means is when you do it, you do it for two. When you love, you're loving for two. When you care enough to send the very best, which is you, you're doing it for the two of you. And that's unconditional love. Persistence is unconditional love. Loving yourself and putting yourself first and being about yourself is unconditional love. And that's what ripples to your other. 
not telling them, not convincing them, not arguing with them, not confronting them, but loving them by loving yourself. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Watch for the links below, check it out, or email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye.